This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at a linear programming problem. It turns out that a linear programming problem is uh, some process, mathematical process that we use to maximize a business's uh, profits or minimize a business's losses. And there are several steps to it. So as a matter of fact, for this problem, I'm going to break up this uh, whole problem into six different videos. And you'll see why, because there's six important steps to solving this problem. Each video will be small, but uh, it's important to break it up into little parts. All right, so uh, the first part is uh, developing the inequalities. Okay, so we need to figure out what inequalities are we going to use. Now, when we make inequalities, uh, there are some uh, steps that we have to take right before that. Like, for instance, we have to declare what the variables are. Um, so I have to figure out what is x, because I'm going to use x and y for this problem. We have to figure out what is x going to stand for, what's y going to stand for. Now, I made my graph, and I have my x-axis already defined for bran muffins, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call x the number, I should put the little pound sign, it's the number of bran muffins that Maria is going to sell. All right, likewise, we're going to let y stand for the number of raisin muffins. All right, now everything is going to jive. Uh, our our x-axis will now correlate with our x-value brand muffins, and our y-axis will correlate with the raisin muffins. So as I go through looking at this word problem and examining each sentence, uh, I just have to keep in mind that x will stand for the brand muffins and y for the raisin. All right, so uh, let's look at the first sentence. So the first sentence says, Maria is in the business, bran and raisin muffins. Okay, so we took care of that first sentence and when we declared our variables. All right, now let's look at the second sentence. She could sell a maximum of 100 muffins. All right, so that means we're going to take X and Y, X and Y together. And we realize that she can sell a maximum of 100 muffins. She cannot sell more than that. Uh, that's what maximum means. So that means she can sell less and she can sell 100. She just can't sell more than that. All right, there you go. There's our first uh, inequality based on that second sentence. All right, let's look at the next sentence. All right, it says her accountant said that the number of brand and three times the raisin muffins had to be no more than 150. Okay, well, let's see, what does that mean? So the number of bran, oh, sorry, you got to get the better color there. Uh, so the number of bran, bran stands for X. We know that three times the raisin, well, that's 3Y, and uh, it has something to do with 150. All right, let's see. Hmm. So the number of brand and, well, that usually means addition, uh, three to, uh, had to be no more than 150. If it cannot be greater, right, no more than means not greater. It can be less than or it can be equal to, but it cannot be greater. All right, so that takes care of that sentence. All right, let's see. Hmm. The number of brand muffins, uh, okay, this is the next sentence here. You see what I'm getting at. The number of bran muffins sold must be no greater than 20. Okay, well, let's see. Bran is uh, X, and we said it's something to do with 20. It says must be no less than 20. If it cannot be less than, it's got to be greater than or equal to. It says cannot be less. So greater than or equal to is what it can be. All right. Um, hmm. You know, there is another sentence here, but I'm going to get to that later when we get to profit. Um, but, you know, there is an implied inequality that's not written here. You know, it doesn't say anything about the raisin muffins. What's the raisin muffins alone? What, what, what can we make with those? How many can we make? How many can't we make? All right. Well, it turns out that even though it's not said for this particular problem, uh, when they don't say something about a variable, there is something that you can read into. 
it can't ever be less than zero. Uh, you can't sell a negative number of, of muffins. It just doesn't make any sense. So we know that it's got to be greater than or equal to zero. However many she sells, however many raisin muffins she sells, we know it's got to be greater than or equal to zero. All right, so there you go. We have our set of inequalities, right? We have our a set of inequalities. And in our next video, we're going to learn how to graph those inequalities. And that's what I'm going to be spending time with. So check out our other video, our linear programming video on graphing inequalities.